Welcome to Anderton's TV, everybody. Smokey. Today we are looking at the reissue of a reissue of a reissue. Yeah, I think <laughs> every few years, the lovely people at um, MXR and Dunlop uh, do reissue uh, the Jimi Hendrix uh, pedals. Yeah. Uh, these are obviously, you know, approved by the, the Hendrix family, mm -hmm. and are little kind of compact reissues of pedals that Jimmy would have used. Jimmy. Uh, and every time they reissue them, they update the artwork. So this is the Shrine series. The artwork itself is I pretty it. iconic, yeah. but it's been redone by a guy called Simon Burnt this time round. So the okay. limited edition kind of cool artwork. Four pedals in the range, same four as always, basically. So we've got a Fuzz Face, which is what we started with here. Uh, we've got an Octavio, mm. we've got a Univibe, and we've got the Band of Gypsies, which is a sort of a mystery pedal. Um, people believe it's the Octavio without the octave circuit it's in it. One. So, but yeah. before we go on, if you want to timestamp ahead to whatever, then do that. Like and subscribe, you might win something at 850,000, we're giving Ooh. away a little victory thing, and at a million we're giving away a clon. Goodness but hey, me. that said, Boom. Yep, so we thought for this video, we would wheel out uh, this recent edition. Pete came up with this concept. It's a um, Marshall uh, Studio Classic 20, which mm. is the sort of, I suppose, the sort of the little, you know, it's like a ditty version of what Jimmy would have used with a matching 212 cab. With the wick. Um, we've done Isn't these the with Marshall's design store in the purple Tolex with the wicker front. I love that. And we're selling these as sets so you can get the head and the 1x12 cab, or you can get the head and the 212 cab as a set. This is a, just a, an Anderton's exclusive thing, I think. Uh, and of course, we've featured this guitar before, which is the um, Mexican Road Worn series, uh, kind of, you know. 70s, 69. Yeah, type late thing. 60s, yeah. big headstock strap with the upgraded custom I mean, shop. Is it really... custom shop or Texas Special? Yeah, custom like, shops, I think. Custom shop pickups yeah. in them. Uh, anyway, we've done a video of this before, so you can go and see that separately if you like. But it's the kind of the most Hendrixy thing we thought mm -hmm. we had to put together. Bit of reverb from the blue sky, through the effects loop of the amplifier, bit of wah from the wacko from Jam Pedals. Coolest looking wah pedal out there. It's very cool. Isn't it? Okay, so if we start with the fuzz face, there mm -hmm. are, um, there's a, a level and a fuzz control on the front. Main switch switches it on and off. Little um, white switch on the side here either activates the buffer or not. Okay. You can hear... Uh, what the buffer does if it's activated it adds some high end but as yep. fuzz aficionados will know it's not always wanted if you're using other pedals in your chain True and that. at the top here this button here allows you to uh, jump between silicon and a uh, germanium uh, transistors yeah so let's have a little listen at what it sounds like uh, with no fuzz <laughs> oh this sounds so good sounds man so. it sounds so good It sounds so good. We're in standard E tuning yeah. because. Because a lot um, of the songs were actually. So let's jump on over here. If the white button is uh, lit up, it's a silicon diode. Mm -hmm. If it's blue, it's germanium. And again, Straight if this is on, the buffer is on, and this is off, the buffer is not on. Straight from germanium. So let's have a little listen. Good man. Now, I think the thing to do with fuzz pedals is explore uh, what the pedal does as you play with the volume control on the guitar. Mm -hmm. And I think that's potentially something that uh, novices to fuzz pedals will not really appreciate because yeah. most drive pedals, it's just, yeah, everything on 10 and see where yeah. you go. But and, you and get all, all well, the different man. layers of, yes, exactly. So I'll leave Pete to noodle around. <laughs> Thank you. 
That cleans up really nicely. Uh, I don't know if they're in shot, are they? Some lovely boxes that these come in. It's all very much like a collector's kind of, yeah. uh, or a, you know, a, a, a thing to buy if you're just a big fan of Jimi mm. Hendrix. Uh, let's try the other uh, oh, that's quite transistors. A... Yep, so these are a little bit less gain out of the uh, check, germanium one. Check this out, if I turn it all the way down, mm -hmm. and you now click it onto the other one. See? I want all. I don't I'm want, I want tune all the bit, tuning yeah. to be whilst you're playing in Jimi Hendrix style. It's the best style, no I, tuner. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't want any. This is like we're going to go Jimi Hendrix wild style, um, with and without the buffer. So I'll just show you. In fact, you'll hear if you just play a chord, you'll hear. I prefer it without actually because yeah, it's got so. I must admit, this is 20 watts, and we've got the volume here, uh, uh, like yeah, less than loud, a quarter man. on the, the high channel and about less than half on the normal channel. Can you imagine what this would have sound like? Jimmy would have had like four of these, 100 watt, all full whack. Gee whiz. <laughs> That's if why he died at 27, it's just yeah, a sound pressure. Probably wasn't doing his ears a lot of it good. It wasn't drugs, but... it was the amps that killed him. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, so look. That's the uh, the fuzz face, which is a lot of fun. Let's so move fun. on to uh, the Octavio. Okay, here we go in with the Octavio. Um, again, you may have seen if you you know you're a big fan of Jimi Hendrix or even even not, you may have seen the sort of the cheese wedge design mm. pedal. I believe Roger Mayer was the man that was kind of you know doing that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah. And the Octavio has the um, octave up a kind of very distinctive and associated with Jimi Hendrix sound, uh, which you'll hear in a minute, which is switchable from this um, When I play nothing, nothing switch like him. At the top. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. so uh, let's just remind ourselves again of our no fuzz. Oh, it sounds so good. It's so good. Except I tell you when this amplifier is awful, it's really it's, quiet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then it's awful. Yeah. Anyway. different sound to the fuzz face isn't mm -hmm. it it's yeah, got yeah. more of that saw sound like you know like a sign a, yeah what, what do you yeah, it's like more, a synth it's more saw. overdrive -y actually yeah in my so opinion. uh anyway sorry to interrupt that's you fine you can interrupt, interrupt your shall time. i put the octave <laughs> thingy on yeah That's a good sound, man. That is dirty. That's a good sound. Could we go maybe? I don't know how that guitar's wired, but do you have to go middle pickup if you want to use the. Oh, okay. Let's just give that Okay, a, so uh, let's see.
Poof. Poof. I don't know Oof. why I did that. Is How this, it? Is it this here? here that's getting it? I don't know. I dread to think. Uh, okay. Man, so that that sounds is the good, Octavio. Bro. Again, nice little details. Um, there's so much kind of ripped off Hendrix stuff everywhere in the yeah, world. Again, is. keep your eye out for the, the little authentic Hendrix kind of stamps on stuff on here. And you know that obviously all the Dunlop stuff, they've got the proper relationship with... Um, they do. ...with the Hendrix family. Uh, Let's move on. Man alive. Oof. How old would Jimmy would have been if he hadn't have died? He was over 70 or something now, wouldn't he? So still not like crazy old. No, he would still be out there. He would be in here, man, hanging out could with you, us. Oh, could you imagine? Well, you've got no idea what he, what, how he, what he would have been like now. You know? I think he'd have been a bit like Carlos Santana. I think he'd have been a bit yeah, hippie. Yeah, hippie, a bit cool. Like probably going, living in you know, Hawaii did, did, or something like that, yeah, being cool. Yeah, did a few gigs once in a while. Yeah. And just sort of, but, sort of just, you know. I just, you know. I know everyone's going to have their own favourites and a lot of it will be, you know, what you listened to when you were growing up, learning to play and all that kind of stuff. But man alive. He was definitely king. Since Jimmy influenced so many people, didn't he? Yeah, so he many in such a short period of time. So the band of Gypsies fuzz uh, was uh, a mysterious fuzz face that Jimmy used at a few shows, most notably the band of Gypsies sort of performance, a little bit later than the uh, fuzz face kind of era. Mm -hmm. um, and this has just, it's got three controls, output, fuzz, and tone, so there's no other switches on here. Is there uh, an octave on it or something, somewhere? No, I think it's no. the other way around. It, I, isn't the rumor that it's kind of like an Octavia of a fuzz, but without but the not. Octavia in it? Oh, I that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, we shall see. We shall see when I play uh, nothing like him. Yes. <laughs> The most over, the, like over the it's top, like right in your like face, wallet bang. jobby, isn't it? I mean, I'm not even old fuzz faces. Everything had to be full up. Yeah. You know, these are obviously designed to be a little bit more user friendly than that. Uh, so you can see where stuff is set. Output wow. is about uh, ten o'clock. Fuzz is about two o'clock. Uh, let's just, I don't know. I mean, see what it's got, babe. <laughs> I think that's cool because I yeah, haven't turned the fuzz off, but yeah, you can still go I'll, very yeah. clean. And it's in Jimmy Tune. <laughs> of lighter fluid anywhere? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, I drank that this morning. You did. Uh, right, Band of Gypsies, very, very cool. Okay, last one then, uh, the Univibe, another uh, effect, classic effect that mm. uh, is associated with Jimi Hendrix. Mm -hmm. um, on this reissue version here, uh, you can switch between a chorus mode, so chorus mode is no LED, Univibe mode is the red no. LED, and then you can adjust the speed and the depth of the modulation and the overall level of the pedal. You'll often hear this used in association with a fuzz as well, yeah. uh, but we're just basically, each demo we've done here, we've just isolated the pedal so you can kind of hear it into yeah. the Marshall. Here little we bit, go. A little bit more reverb as well.
Oh man, that sounds good, doesn't it? I'm not a fan of that one. It's been a you long like, day like today, guys. Like, yeah. no, I like the Unimar mic, yeah. I'm great. I'm playing three songs together because there's only those little bits and pieces of it. Eric Gales, by the way, not Eric Clapton, I'm making the reference to there. Um, it sounds good. It's been it does a sound great. So far, it does man. sound great. Yes, Pete's done well today. He has. This is his fourth video in a day. It's your fourth video as well know, today. You've done all the playing. So, um, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed that uh, little whiz through some of these pedals. I don't know what the star of the show has been. Whether it's this amplifier, it might be this amplifier, right? I think the um, amplifier... I it's think great looking amp. Great. The guitar is uh, great totally too. Totally useless for home use. Absolutely amazing if you're out there gigging or, or getting... can make a load of noise at home. Yeah. Guitar's cool. Pedals are cool. Yeah, uh, links for brilliant. all this stuff will be below. Uh -huh. Don't forget. Uh, in fact, this is all limited edition stuff. Um, yeah. But uh, yes, don't forget once it's gone, it's gone. I'm going to go and lie down now like yeah, the owl. Yeah, go and lie down like an owl. Absolutely. <laughs> Good for you, man. Thank you so much for watching. And we shall see you in another video probably tomorrow.